Hello, I'm Louise Farner from J.D. Edwards Enterprise One Product Strategy. Today, I have the pleasure of showing you the new work order mass update application for J.D. Edwards Release 9.1. For my presentation, I'm going to play the role of a maintenance supervisor who each week has to update completed work orders to a closed status. With work order mass update, I can now select a batch of work orders and perform the same update to all of the work orders in the batch at one time. I can use this new application on all of my work order types by simply creating a version for each type. I can use manufacturing work orders, equipment work orders, service work orders, and real estate work orders. Previously, I had to locate each work order to update it, select it, update the status field, press OK, possibly press OK again if I had warnings, then wait 10, 15, 20 seconds in order for that work order to process, and finally refresh the grid in order to locate the next work order I needed to close. I process hundreds and sometimes thousands of work orders each week, and I spend hours and hours doing that. Now, I can update all of my selected work orders in a matter of seconds. Let me show you just how easy this is to do. This is the work order mass update search application. By using the advanced query in the upper right corner, I've pre-filtered and preloaded the grid with my work orders that I want to mass update. This is a big time saving for me. Since my work orders have already been located and are shown in the grid, all I need to do is select them to make a batch of work orders. So I'm just loading the grid with all the work orders. I have 68 of them. I'm going to select them. And now I simply need to go to this Work Order Mass Update button. This is going to navigate me to the Update application. The work orders that I selected have been passed into the grid and are already selected. The header fields of this application are used to enter the desired new values that I want to mass update. There are 53 fields that can be mass updated for work order headers. In my case, I'm using a template where I've preset my updates and locked some of them down, such as what I've done with the status field. Using a template saves me time and eliminates data entry errors. I'm ready to go. I don't need to do anything other than click on Final Update. It's that simple. Once I click on Final Update, I'm presented with a confirmation screen. This is my last chance to cancel out if I don't want to proceed. Once I click on OK, the system will go off and begin processing my batch of work orders with my desired updates. Well, I'm free to go work on something else. This is a huge time saving for me, as I used to spend hours and hours each week doing this one work order at a time. So there you have it. Literally, one, two, three, and I'm done. What used to take me hours, I can now complete in a matter of minutes. Okay, so I mentioned that you could pre-fill in your updates using a template. Let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to go to that application. This is set up in advance, and the name of the template that I already created was called Weekly Work Order Close. It's very simple. The fields, the 53 fields that can be updated are arranged on the same tabs that are available on the update application. And as you saw in my demo, I had preset the status field to MK, which is closed, and I had locked that so it was grayed out. And I also had filled in a comment. I could have done the same thing for any of these other fields on the tabs and use it what's called a template. And then when I do the updates, I just call the template and I don't have to re-enter the updates. And the advantage of doing that is not only does it save time, but it prevents me from entering um, erroneous values and perhaps doing some um, updates that I don't want to do.